on YouTube today. I got an unboxing review video on the new Springfield Armory Echelon. There was so much hype regarding this gun. I had to get me one. Uh, me personally, I love Springfield's, um, just all their guns, to be honest with you. I love the Hellcat. Uh, I have their Saint, Saint Victor, a couple of their farms. For the record, uh, I'm not sponsored by them, so I'm not just doing this video because I get paid to do it, but because I, honestly, I enjoy it. So this is my honest review on the firearm. So first off, uh, it comes, yeah, your typical Springfield Armory box. So let's see what we got in here. Springfield Armory, defend your legacy. So as always, all their firearms come in this little pouch, this soft pouch. I already unzipped it so I can hold the phone. And here you got it, Springfield Armory Echelon. So guys, this is a full size firearm. And if you notice these, this grip texture, it's a very aggressive uh, grip texture. It is exactly like the Hellcat. To be honest with you, it has the look of like, I call it a Hellcat on steroids. Literally, it, it looks a lot like, obviously they, they've added some features. So we'll, we'll talk about those things first, which is the, the grip. You got this grip, they put it everywhere. So they have this right here. So when you're holding it, you put your thumbs here added grip there they put it under the trigger guard front of the trigger guard i mean they put it everywhere they even have it here so when you rest your your index finger it's everywhere it's a beautiful gun so if you're wondering the size of it it is the size of a glock 17. some people are saying it's a it's a wannabe glock or want to be p320 but i mean how much different can you get than most guns super nice so a couple things that stands out the slide serrations you have some very deep cuts as you can see from the top you got deep slide serrations which is i kind of wish they did it with the hellcat it probably would have helped with the weight too but this i mean when you're gonna check just so smooth. I think that might have very, very smooth. Easy to grip. However you like to grab, it just it grips really good. Like I said, this grip here is perfect for this finger. You're gonna put it here. Hold there. Perfect. All right. So we got those things. Deep slide serrations, aggressive grips. Like I said, it's literally everywhere on the gun. You got a nice size for your rail. You can put a nice size, you know, full size light. That's always good. Now here, the optic. This is something that I would say they just blew everyone out of the water with this. I found out mistaken, you could put over 30 variety of red dots on here. You can put an RMR type red dot, uh, RMSC. I mean, the list goes on. You can put literally every popular type of red dot will will go on here. So like I said, yeah, you can pretty much put a Delta Point Pro, a Trigicon, a Shield. I mean, six hour. I mean, you want to put a six hour on a Springfield probably. So like I said, this and, and you don't have to add any mounting plates. The way they set it up is when you take this off, it's already milled out for a, for a huge variety of red dots. So that's perfect. You don't have to be buying, spending extra money on plates and all these different things. And it's perfect. This trigger feels a lot like the Hellcat's trigger. So if you're not a big fan of the Hellcat trigger, you, you may not be a, probably a big fan of this. I'm going to show you the, the, the trigger pull. So let's see here. It. So, you see the reset? 
short reset. You know? Short reset. I would say it feels a little bit better than the Hellcat, but the same kind of feel. It's 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 a lot like the Hellcat. Uh sights, same thing, the same U notch sight. You know, you got your front um night sight as well. So it's perfect. It feels great on the hand. Like I said, it feels really good. It's a full size gun size. I put it next to my Glock 17. It's pretty much the same size. Um, so you got that. Deep slide serrations. Variety of optics. You can put grips everywhere. Pretty much you got the trigger. Um, feels like the Hellcats if you have the Hellcat. Uh, and, um, and I believe they also made the grips where you can switch it out. You can switch this out, and I'm sure Wilson Combat, all these other people, they put, they, they, I believe Springfield put on there that they made it so you can add and change grips, not like some other guns that you can't change anything. Also, the serial number is only really a part of the interior parts, the most important part inside. So it's not like some of these other firearms where the serial is attached to all these other parts and stuff like that. So they made it, you know, very modular. You can change all these parts, you know, with no with no issues. All right. So um, magazine capacity it comes with that it's the flush fit mag. This is a seventeen round mag. That's it's the it's the flush fit mag. So if you want a flush fit, it comes with the seventeen round mag flush fit. All right. Let's move this out of the way. Yeah, your typical goodies. Comes with a couple of, look, pin set. I guess it's for the shield red dot. Oh, so I guess it comes with pins. Look at this, for the Delta Point Pro. Or the, oh, even have it for the new uh, EOTech, the E-Flex red dot. So it comes with the screws already for it. And you got standard lock. And I like that it came with this. These are, if you want to change the width of your grips on the back strap of your grip. You can change it, you can add it. And you got that's the screw for that. I don't know what the screw of this is for. That, I don't know what that is. Maybe someone in the comment can tell me what that is. Comes with a base plate. Comes with an extra base plate. And I believe I have one of my mags missing that I took out. Uh, I'll show you guys right now. I actually took it out the box. So here you got, it's a 70 round mag with an extended base plate. So I believe it brings you up to like, I don't know, 21 rounds or something like that. So you got an ex extra capacity. So if you want to take this one out and look, it drops pretty easy. Look, an amp, I forgot to mention this, ambidextrous mag release. All right, so you want to add this one. I'll try to record it with one hand. All right. That's how you look. You got the extended mag. I like that Springfield did this. When I bought my Hellcat, I did not get a mag loader. I don't know. I mean, I think if you buy them now, you get them. But when they first came out, they did not give you mag loaders. So they threw this in there. It's a mag loader. That's pretty much what you get in here. Extra extended mag, flush fit mag, base plate. If you want to add, uh, add it to the, the flush fit mag, so you have two extended mags. You know, got your magazine loader, your extra, you know. It, Add-ons to your grips, locks, screws. Beautiful firearm, man. I'll tell you this. They call it the duty gun. I guess they're trying to uh, appeal police officers. Whatever. The duty duty gun. I like it. I like it a lot. And like I said, it's, you know, full-size gun. It's going to shoot good. Nice sights. Deep slide serrations. I wish they would do it with the Hellcat. I wish they would have did it with the Hellcat Pro. These deep cuts, you know. So I call it the Hellcat on steroids. I like it. Nine millimeter. Um, 
I would like to see them to come out with a variety of uh, maybe other calibers, maybe a 45, a 10 millimeter. That way, you know, you could play around with calibers and full size gun. I could see why they didn't want to do it with a smaller gun, but now that you have a full size, you know, it's going to compete with the 320 and all this stuff. I enjoy it. I like it. So, guys, if you have any questions about it, uh, just write in the comments. But I think it's a good gun. I paid about six ninety, I believe, six ninety for the firearm. So it's not it's not bad. It's a little bit more pricier than you know your average full size gun. But I mean, lately nowadays, I even bought a Glock recently, and just seeing prices of some stuff is just going up ridiculously. So. But I say overall, it's not a bad price. I mean, once you hit that $1,000 range, sometimes it's not worth it, but it's a good price. So, yeah, guys, that's just the unboxing of it. Um, I'm going to have videos coming soon of me actually shooting it. I haven't got time to shoot it and take videos of it, but uh, I'll be releasing that soon. So, guys, just subscribe, like, and be on the lookout for some more videos, man. If you guys have any guns you would like to see me do, a review or an unboxing on just write it in the comments echelon alrighty guys mm -hmm.